we're going to start with a triangle for the nose. One, two, three. Triangle. And if you want, you can put in one, two little curves like that, just very small. And then we can do his fluffy cheeks. Nice and fluffy. So you can either do little tiny zigzags or just straight lines. A bit of both. And then like a dotted line at the top, you don't want it. Just like that. And then the chin. Nice and fluffy. Little tiny zigzags. And the top of the lip with a little dark bit in there for where his mouth is. There we go. And then we're going to do one, two, three, four dots. One, two, three, four dots. Or dashes, really. Little tiny straight lines. And then we do the whiskers. One, two, three, four. They can be crazy as you want. One, two, three, four crazy whiskers. Okay. And then we follow the shape of the head. So actually, let's put the eyes in first. So we're going to go curve line up like that, curve line up like that, just a little bit away from the nose, yeah? And then underneath the eye we curve up like that, and then from the top we curve down to a point. And then we put in this curve here for the side of the eye, these two little circles where the light is showing on the eye, and the pupil of a cat which goes curve up, curve up, kind of shaped like a football if it was very, very pointy. Then we do the same again. Curve down for the bottom of the eye. Curve up for the top of the eye. And down to a point. And then we do the side of the eye, which is just a little curve like that. And you can leave it out if you want, that's up to you. And then we do two little circles. And the pupil of the cat, which is a curve up and a curve up like a pointy football. That's pretty much it. And then we're going to do a curve underneath the eye and a curve on top of the eye. Just like that. Pretty easy. I might make that one a bit closer. There we go. That's, that's alright. And one here. Make them the same. Okay. And now we can do the shape of the head, which is fluffy. Tiny zigzag in a circle around the head. Zigzag, 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 and then back up again. Like that. And then we can do the ears. Which are, you can either just do a triangle shape, one, two, like that, or you can also make it fluffy. So you go up like that, straight lines up, and a couple of zigzags. And then I'm just going to make this line, just a light line like that. And then we'll do the same on this side. Zigzags and straight lines, zigzags and straight lines to make a triangle. And then the shape on the inside which has fluffy bits underneath coming out, so that's another zigzag. Like that. There you go. And then we do a zigzag on top for the top of the head, in between the ears. All the way from one ear to the other. Pretty simple. And then we're going to put in these stripy bits. So we've got a stripy bit there, stripy bit here, pointing at the eyes. Two little stripy bits just next to the eyebrows. And then a big triangly stripey bit at the top with one in the middle. Like that. Easy. And now we can do the chest, which is a kind of a bigger zigzag, because the fluff is a bit more fluffy where the chest is. And then the shoulders, which are also a little bit bigger, the zigzags, not much, just a little bit. And then back to little zigzags for the legs, which is two lines down there and two lines down here. Like that. And then we have the pores, which are one, two, three, four curves. Same on this one. One, two, three, four curves for the pores. Pretty simple. And then we can put in more stripy bits, which are zigzags around the shapes. You just kind of, I mean, you guys are just drawing probably with ink straight away or with something straight away. So I would just imagine a triangle and draw around the imaginary triangle in your head and on the paper. Okay, and then we're going to do some zigzags for the stripes on the knees of the kitten and the body.
bottom of the belly, which is also a zigzag. And then we're going to do the legs, which come out the side, the back legs, which are, again, a little bit zigzaggy. Very fluffy lines. A lot of you are really good at fluffy lines, so I wouldn't, you know, just have a go. You can do it. And then we're going to do the tail, which goes out the back, again, fluffy, fluffy, fluffy tail, like that. And I might put a stripe on there too. That's up to you, maybe two stripes. And then we're going to go for the front paws, which go curve down like that, and then curve up four times, one, two, three, four, and join it up, and then we'll do the bottom of the leg. Like that, pretty easy, and a stripe in there, maybe in there. And we'll do the same on the other side, curve down, and four curves up, one, two, three, four for the paws. And then we draw the bottom of the paws, so that's a circle for the back of the foot and the middle of the foot, and little circles for the toes, one, or ovals actually for the toes, one, two, three, four ovals. And the circle is kind of overly as well. It, it's like a circly oval. It's not super round. It's just a little bit squished. And then we do four ovals. One, two, three, four for the toes. And yeah, that's about it. And put a stripe in. And a stripe. And if you want, you can put just a little bit of fluff where the legs meet the paws on the front. And that's it, now we're going to get rid of the pencil. How'd you go, you guys? I bet you did really well. Okay, getting done. Actually, I might just, we'll just make this a little bit darker. Is that yeah. That's better. Alright. Uh, let's move on.